my channel so today's video is not about family vlogging today I am going to make a soup a stew yes it's an okra stew I'm going to prepare today and I want you guys to follow me along to see how I prepare my okra soup all right so I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I'm going to use to prepare the stew. Here are the ingredients I'm going to use. I have here garden egg. A garden egg is actually optional if you want it. If you want to uh, mix it with your okra stew or not, it's optional. If you don't want it, you can leave it. Here I have my frozen okra because I don't have the fresh one. I have uh, two and a half of onions, three carbonate pepper, and here I have my augury. And on this side, I have all my obstacles that I'm going to use. This is my cow meat, and my cow skin, my chicken, and fish. Yes. So stay tuned. So here I have one sliced onion and one carbonate pepper. I'm going to blend that to add it to my meat. So I'm going to add a little bit of water in it. Okay. <laughs> I have blended. Now we're going to add it to our meat. <clears throat> In there, I have one cup of Maggi. I put this one in there and a little one of this. So, I'm putting this one to my meat to so give it that nice, tasty, and flavorly taste. I love it. For my meat to be very flavory season it very good so now I'm going to let that steam together then I'll be back let's check to our meat now I'll be boiling for some minutes yeah. I haven't added any water yet I'm going to add my chicken into it. Yes. And I will add some water. to use the broth to cook the okra with it. Uh, I forgot guys, I forgot to show you that I'm going to use red palm oil and maggi cubes. So it's about time for me to set my pot. And I'm going to put some, um, it all depends on how your stove is. I'm going to put it on number nine because I want it faster heat. I want it to heat faster. This. This is the pot I'm using. Point B. Yes. Because I'm cooking all of that. Mm. Mm. Here I have my salt. So stay tuned guys, when the pot is heat up, I'm going to put my bread oil, when it's heat up a little bit, and I'm going to add my onion sweet, stir a little bit, 
but I will show you guys. That's why I'm here for. I'm going to show you all the process. Sorry guys, I have add, I have already added my onion and my maggi cube into my oil. Just going to stir it a little bit. So when it's I'm going to let it simmer a little bit before I add the okra into it. I add a little bit of salt to it. So I'm going to wash it thoroughly. While washing it, I'm going to squeeze it like this for me to remove all the seeds. See? See the seeds in there? Everything will be removed. And I'm going to wash it to add it to my okra. <clears throat> it's really hard for me to pronounce okra. I don't know how they pronounce it. Is it okra, 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 or I don't really know. I will just pronounce it anyhow I want, you know. I'm done washing it. Remove all the seeds. This is how it looks like. Now I'm going to add it to my okra. Let's see. Look at that. I have added my pepper into it. In here I have my salt. I have seasoning. I have my salt in it. And I have my maggi into it. And I have my pepper. You know. So now I'm going to add this one for it to cook together with it. Yeah. And I will show you guys later on how it turns. This one is going to make the okra to relax. Why? Because the okra we have in Europe here is very hard because of the cold. We don't get that fresh pepper uh, like okra in here. So when, whenever we get the okra, it, it's very difficult for it to like cook according to the way you want it. Like what I'm trying to say, is, the way African okra is, oh my God, African okra is so, so different from this one. African okra is very easy to cook very easy to season and it's very tasty but European okra oh my, mm -mm, mm -mm. you have to do a lot of things to it before you get a very nice and tasty okra yeah that's the life of being in Europe okay guys I'm going to cover that for it to cook for about like for about 10 minutes and I'll be back I forgot to I forgot to tell you that I um, when I'm cooking my okra for it to be a little bit uh, like slippery I can grind I ground a little bit of okra in the blender I blend a little bit of okra and then I add it to it see to set it aside for it to cool down then I remove all these bones from from it this will be the last ingredients from it in the soup I think the meat is finished yeah, it's cool down. let me turn it off set this aside 
Yeah. And we love that. Now I need the bra. I'm going to need the bra from that meat soon. Here I have my um what is this called again? Strings, yes. My dry strings. I have already picked everything. Anything that's supposed to be inside, I've already picked everything. So I'm going to add it to my okra now. I don't like I'm not grinding that. I like it like that. Oh yes. I love it like that, Sha. I'm going to add my meat for my okra now. to add one more of this to my taste you can add one more maggi if you feel like it doesn't taste enough like you want it and I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it yeah and I'm going to st stir it now Now I will remove all the bones from the fish. This is what I removed from the fish. So now, <clears throat> now I'm going to add it to my stew. Just like that. And I'm going to stir it. Not too much because I don't want for the fish to really like. See that okra? It's almost finished though. Guys, here I'm boiling my rice. It's basmati rice. You can use any rice of your choice. Back to the soup. Is this soup or sauce? Okay, back to the sauce. See that? It's finished. See that? Mm -hmm. mm. I just don't want to stir it too much because I don't want for all the fish to mash. All right, that's enough. And I'm going to show you guys the end result later. Just going to reduce the stove. Let it be to number one for now until the rice is done boiling. So yes, that's how I prepare my across sauce.